Hello besties! Today we are doing an alcohol ink cowhide tumbler tutorial. This one's a cutie! But before that, let me welcome you guys to our YouTube channel. I hope you like it here. Make sure to check out all our social media handles under Misfit Makers and click that subscribe button so you can be notified of any upcoming videos. Check out our website and our Patreon as well. Okay, so we're gonna be using a 32 ounce plump from the Tipsy Magnolia. I love these big old cups. I love them, love them. This one is actually a prep cup, but you can spray paint it or paint it with pop of color. But I used a prep cup. I am using UV resin to apply my glitter, but you can use epoxy or the Mod Podge method. Either way, whatever works for you. I'm using the color Cheesecake from the Glitter Guy, and I am applying that all around my cup. I love doing this method at glitter adhesion, one, because it dries really quick, and two, because you get really good coverage. So, after I did this tutorial, I realized that it is very important to choose your whites wisely because if they have like yellow undertones, they will change the color of your brown ink. I wasn't aware of that. I didn't guess I didn't do enough research, but actually this cheesecake color worked out pretty good. It didn't have a lot of yellow undertones, so it still worked pretty good. So after it is dried, I want to go ahead and fluff out any excess glitter. You want to make sure you do this because you don't want your glitter to travel or to clump up when you are going to epoxy it. My glitter still traveled a little bit. I wish I would have sealed it uh, maybe with spray sealer or something like that just to kind of get it nice and tight. But either way, I feel like it turned out okay. So anyway, here I am just getting rid of the excess. Look at all that excess, guys. But look at how good of a coverage it still has. So now for the super easy part and really abstract, honestly, you just want to go in with your favorite brown ink. I'm using Havana by Pinata brand, and I'm just kind of dabbing little pieces. I'm not going to lie, I did this twice because the first time around, my ink got away from me. The nozzle was going too fast, so it was just looking like blobs, and my husband was raised on a farm and raised cows and he came and he said um jerry unless that cow has mad cow disease i don't know what kind of cow spots are those so i started over and this is what i went with a little bit more abstract and my spots more spread out cow spots are not that together I guess they're more spread out they're more irregular but whatever looks good to you there's really no right or wrong way of doing it I just went around and tried my hardest to leave bigger gaps I didn't want it to overwhelm my cup I wanted it to look more true to cow spots but again play around with it it is super easy technique and I just like it you could always also lay like layer some more brown to give it more deeper dimension and there's other techniques out there as well but I wanted to keep it simple I'm just showing here that I did a couple of dots kind of a little irregular and here it is after it's been epoxied one time using Facet from CCDIY. I'm going to sand it very lightly, just getting rid of all those lumps and bumps and any high spots. Also, if you can tell, my glitter did shift a little bit and it turned like a little green over the brown, but it still gives it a good shimmer. So be careful with what you choose. Okay, now moving on to the decals. My least favorite part of any cup okay i like to use like the white backing clear cast decals ready to go but i couldn't find one like i had something in my mind and i even searched etsy and thought maybe i can find an svg i had this in my brain and i saw something like this that said honky tonk barbie and i was like nah i don't want to don't want to do barbie some people are not barbie all the everything so i decided to make my own decal and said honky tonk babe so i freaking loved it i spend way too much time on this so i hope you love 
it. And um, But if you are looking to make your own decals, it is so easy to create them on Canva and then transfer them on, send them to your computer or to your Cricut and cut them that way as well. Okay, so here I obviously showed you guys how I layered everything. Now I'm making sure everything is even because you best believe I am not recutting this decal. So whatever it sticks, it's gonna stay forever and ever because I ain't doing this again, boo, no. Okay, so here I am applying the babe decal and then I'm like, oh, I need some more little stuff. So I did cut out these little cowboy smiley faces. I felt like I just gave it a little extra, but not doing too much. And with these very big 32 ounce plumps, it is so, there's so much room to add any kind of stuff on it like you still have a lot of working room so I love these yes they are big yes they're not everybody's cup of tea but I freaking love them they are awesome so anyway here is this tutorial after this I am going to epoxy it a couple more times and with using artist resin from CCDIY to give it that nice crystal clear finish and here I am after I just epoxy it you can kind of tell here where my glitter traveled a little bit and or where the ink sank into the glitter but it turned out cute look how cute she is I hope this inspired you to create your own cowhide ink tumbler thank you so much for all our supporters thank you so much for watching make sure you click that subscribe button so you could be notified and we'll see you next week